in last video I talked about early stages of nervous system development. I talked about ectoderm and how this neural tube is created out of ectoderm. If you don't know what the neural tube is or you don't know what ectoderm is, then you should watch the last video and then come back to this video. Now, during the third week of pregnancy and maybe a few days more, the neural tube has this shape. First, there is a part like this and out of this part the spinal cord is created. Then there is a uh, one part like this and out of this part the rhombocephalon is created. The rhombocephalon consists out of metencephalon and myelencephalon. Then there is one part of the neural tube that looks something like this and it's the part called the mesencephalon. I mean the mesencephalon is created out of this part. And at the end the last part looks something like this and out of that the prosencephalon is created. So this looks like a one after another three vesicles. First vesicle for the rhombocephalon, the second vesicle for the mesencephalon, and the third vesicle for the prosencephalon. During the fourth week of pregnancy, there is one thing that is a bit changed. The prosencephalon has a bit different shape. We are able to distinguish two parts of the prosencephalon. This part over here is the telencephalon. And this part over here is the diencephalon. So we had this tube shaped structure created out of ectoderm uh, that develops in this type of a structure that looks like three vesicles one after another. After this, I will draw you this a bit more in details with Photoshop. And just to give you an example and good understanding of how it looks like. But first, before I do that, just to say that from this part over here, the myelencephalon is created. And from this part over here, the metencephalon is created. And as I said, metencephalon and myelencephalon together form the rhombencephalon. Now I will draw the brain of embryo in the second month of pregnancy. It looks something like this. This part over here is the part out of which medulla oblongata is developed. And this over here is the part out of which cerebellum is developed. Then comes the part called the mesencephalon. There are also other things I will point out later after I describe you each part of future brain. This part over here is the future diencephalon. And the last part is the telencephalon. So let's repeat all this. We had the medulla oblongata. This curvature over here is the neck bend. Then we had the cerebellum, the mesencephalon. Then this curvature over here is the mesencephalic flexure. And then we had the, the diencephalon. On there we can see the first sign of eye creation. It's called the optic cup. And then we had the telencephalon. <laughs> 